has been a devastating year for house fires across the state. At least 62 people have died in Minnesota. That's the most in 15 years. That number includes the loss of 29-year-old John White. His family's home in Lakeville caught fire early yesterday morning. White's parents escaped, but he never made it out of the basement. WCCO's Red Chapman spoke with White's sister today about her memories and her warning for other families now. Reg? Liz, Melissa White says her brother John always had a smile on his face and made everyone around him feel special. He dedicated himself to helping others. She wants him to be remembered for the lives he touched and not as a statistic in a year where Minnesota's fire deaths are near a recent high. It would be great if we had like anything left of him in the house, but it's kind of all gone. Melissa White says nothing but memories remain after a fire destroyed everything inside her childhood home. It's weird because like the day before it's Christmas and we're like, I was sitting on the floor joking around with John and our family and there's a fire and fireplace and TV and cooking in the kitchen and then to go back and like the bar stools in the kitchen are melted. There's nothing anywhere. The basement, we couldn't even go down. That's where he was and everything's melted and destroyed. Melissa's parents made it out of the burning home. Her brother John did not. Lost a very intelligent and creative person. And can't bring him back. Melissa says her brother had an infectious smile. He was very social and had a way with words. Even if you didn't know what you needed to hear, he, he knew what to say. The investigation into John's death is not complete. Melissa believes it had something to do with the space heater. They're not sure yet at all, but they think um, that's where it started. So the space heater, something happened. Melissa wants people to be aware of the little things that can cause big tragedies like space heaters, smoking, and candles. She also wants to remind people of how precious life is. Don't just tell your loved ones that you love them. Physically go there, <laughs> see them, hang out with them, spend the time with them, and then tell them that you love them. The state fire marshal says this should serve as a reminder for all families to check their smoke detectors. John's friends have set up a fund to help pay for his funeral costs. If you would like to help, visit WCCO.com. Gosh, lots to take away there. Just yeah. heartbreaking. Thank you, Reg.